How's it going? Uh, it's Maria from What's the Story with Maria. How you guys doing? So tonight is a glamorous night, a very glamorous night. And let me just tell you, uh, the reason that I wanted to throw the show together, let's see who's, oh, people join us right away. So you know I like to welcome our people. Mandar has joined us. Mandar Chick Magnet has joined us. Chick Rita, Magnet? Yes. Oh, oh. you love him. Rena Cornelli Berge and Penny James have joined us. Penny. Rena's my cousin, Penny James, hairdresser to the stars. <laughs> Penny James, we may need you to call in at some point. How is my Jason hair? Peck has called, has joined us. Ken Stewart, Kimberly Travis, uh, Bill Goffey, Jeffrey Campbell, Melissa Driscoll. Whoa. Oh, my God. Melissa. Hi, Penny. Penny, at some point, I may ask you to call in because we're talking Oscars. I wanted to welcome everybody. Michael Vaccaro. Hi, handsome. How are you? Oh, my God. And by the way, Michael, I've been watching Child of the 70s, and I can't stop laughing. Well, I can't wait for you to come to town so we can interview Michael. He's great. Stephen Elbell. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Okay, so. Let me just let you guys know, if you're listening on the radio, it's armeddigitalmedia.com, Armed Radio Global, if you're on your computer and you want to listen. Uh, and also, we're on Armed Radio. Armed Radio was started for the armed forces. I know you like sailors, Lavinia. I love all military <laughs> men. <laughs> and, and Annette, you probably like sailors, too. I don't mind. Right. And Billy Goffey is in the, our studio audience, and I'm sure there is a sailor in that story somewhere. I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, so we want to just welcome you to our show. Welcome. <laughs> and so here's why I put this together kind of last minute, but I had this week open. And I sometimes I leave weeks open because I feel like the universe is trying to tell me something, like something I, I, I'm supposed to interview someone that has something to do with something important that's going to happen. I'm one of those people. So I was watching the Oscars. I was at Mess Hall, and we had the sound down. We have two big screen TVs, but... We had a sound down. We said, if enough people come in to watch your Oscars, we'll turn it up. But it really wasn't uh, that kind of thing. So I had the sound down, and we were playing our regular music. And so I missed a lot of what was happening in the Oscars. And I know Annette throws a, a big Oscar party, and she's a chef, and we're going to talk about that. She cooks dishes having to do with the Oscars. And Lavinia at Stonewall with Chocolatina Q Dessert has been throwing the ultimate Stonewall party for years. Eight years. Eight years, and um, <laughs> we tried to get Dominic Puba on the show. He texted me earlier. He was because he's a, an executive producer for the Long Island Medium, so they were shooting today. So he said, if I can get out in time, I will do it. But he texted me, and he's on his way home, and he's not going to make it. But if he gets home in time, he's going to call in. Yay. He's a huge Oscar buff and throws you, Annette. He does another part. He yes. Does his own part. Also, the common denominator is that the last time. D Dominic Poopa was on with you last time. Show 72. Show 72. Oh, my God. You love that. <laughs> I, I love that you remember. What number is my 16, show? I remember. Oh, 16. Sweet 16. And Sweet you, 16. you and um, Dominic were on together, Lavinia. I love the Dominic. The 16th episode. Everybody loves Dominic Oh, that's Poopa. so funny. Yeah, yes. so you're, the he common denominator girl, is Dominic Italian Poopa. girl. Uh, <laughs> a nice Italian girl show. So, actually... Uh, Tonight is a nice Italian girl show, but we're going to talk about the Oscars. Well, I'm going to have a Jewish. Well, you are half Jewish. That's my true. Father. So Penny boy, says gorgeous. Oh, my God. Thank you, you Penny. Like? Oh, so actually, when Penny, gorgeous. when I told Lavinia that you may be checking in, she said, oh, well, she can tell me how she likes my outfit, but apparently you look gorgeous. And Annette wore pink not knowing. Not knowing. And well, she, wow. I have to say, I've been out since Sunday. I never went home yet, and my hair stayed good. <laughs> <laughs> you, that is true. So, Lavinia. No, I haven't seen my cat. I don't know. You can leave a cat for two days. Tonight, I'm going home. <laughs> okay, so you have been out since the Oscars. Yes, I went over to Marie's Crisis. I fell asleep. And then it was Where did Maria. you fall asleep at Marie's Crisis? Well, because it's very nice when they start playing the whole score of, like, um, Steel Pier. Steel boring. <laughs> and so you <laughs> fell asleep. Yeah. And I curled up. I'm small. You this are small. Like you a are. Cat. And the yeah, pool like is my a little friend. cat. I was like a little cat. I'm <laughs> and then yesterday I went then I went to the fifty five bar. They open at eight. They never really close. And then I had to go to Grace <laughs> Eight in the morning and hang out with Marissa Jiscoe. 
Oh, are you okay? Take a moment. Do you need water or anything? I just gave her coffee. I, she showed up I love coffee. See, that's why I said, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get Lavinia because she is a missing person. Annette, I said on the promo, Annette is a for sure. Billy today jumped on studio audience. It's like, I have to meet Annette. Yes. It's like, come on down. Yes. What about me? Well, I, Billy, I'm so excited sorry. to meet. Uh, well, you've met. Oh, you met. met me. Oh, I Billy, by the way, this Friday is at Spoonfed, which is a great southern restaurant. Silent. You've been there. I went there a couple of weeks ago. That's right. And you were Ooh, there. I was there. It was delicious. Oh, my God. Southern delicious. And uh, Randy Witherspoon is going to be on the show. We've got to get Randy on He's the show. Delighted. Isn't he lovely? Oh, you would like him. him. He's is really he handsome. Up? I don't think so. I'm he's taken, yeah. Uh, but he's a vet as well, so he's going to be on the show. And mm -hmm. Bill Goffey plays there on Friday night starting at 9 from 9 p.m. to 12 p.m. Billy is there. So go and see Billy. We may go see him this I'm week. I'm going this Friday. I think I'll go home first and take a shower. Okay. Or um, the cat. I got to be the cat. The oh cat. God. Oh, my God. That feline. Feline. Oh. Okay. oh, no, the cat died. Oh. oh. Wow. What do you mean? <laughs> I think my cat died. Poor kid kid. Uh, all right. Poor Everything's poor okay kid. though? <laughs> all right. Well, I don't we're not even gonna touch it. To all right, but Lavinia, take a moment and just meditate or something. Maybe I'm gonna it. go over to uh, Annette and okay. we'll talk some sense here. Okay, so Lavinia, just ground yourself, maybe close your eyes or meditate or whatever you need to do. Breathe. I just gave her coffee, but it's not working up there. Well, how so you feel good. Okay, good. Okay, great. So uh, Annette Cito, thank you. Short notice, and it's like definitely I'll do it. Oscars. Now, uh, Oscars. So Annette, let me see your book first of all. My book. I have Annette brought me one of these books last time she was here, and then I bought a couple for friends for my cousin Rena Crignali, and I bought one for Billy Goffey, and uh, she uh, gave me and Dominic books. Now this book, I cannot say enough. You, how can they order this, Annette? They can order it on Amazon. They could go through my website, which is kitchenette.com. Kitch. Annette. Okay. Dot com. Nice. Okay. So if you're on the radio listening to us and you, we're Facebook living, so that's why you see um, we're, you know, uh, showing things. But if you're on the radio listening, it's called Red Carpet Menus. And Annette, spell your name again so they can it's find Kitchenette, K I T C H A N N E T T E. Dot com. Okay. And if they order it on Amazon, that's what they pop in? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Just Red Carpet Menus, you'll find it. And how much does a book like this run? That runs eighteen ninety five Amazon style. You cannot beat that. It's so great. It has all these amazing recipes. And now I want you to tell them about what you do, your specialty of Oscar dishes. And we'll come back to the book in a minute. Go I ahead, do. Annette. I take the best kitchen nominations since nineteen ninety five, and I turn them into a full meal. And there's a trick. It's a game. It you is? have to take the best kitchen nominated titles. Okay. The dish has to sound like the title in some way, play on words. All right. The dish has to relate back to the movie, and then it has to be a, a cohesive menu so that if you took away the movies, you would eat it all together. Oh, wow. So you keep wow. to a, a cuisine or a theme. So that is, that's like the, 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 the parameters. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it and I made all the rules. It wasn't like that at the beginning. You made all the rules, and then you have people chime in? Oh, my God. I have to because I can't think of everything. I'm good. I'm not that good. And I was not, I'm never, like, I can never just do it all by myself. I have a vision, and it I'm the It the village. Judy Mesa has joined us. Hi, honey. Hi, Judy. Judy got Judy. you. Judy. Today she called me, and she booked a trip. We're going to, uh, we're going to go to the, uh, for, uh, in July. We're going to the Amalfi Coast. Wow. Oh my God. Where uh, is that? Nice and Barcelona. Thank you, Judy Mason. So oh she my God. took care of all of it because you know, in April's 10 years. Oh my God. Yeah. 10, Ten years. years. Ten years. That? Oh it's my God. very clear. Our love is here today. <laughs> Thank you, Lavinia. Uh, so that's exciting. I'm so excited. That's yes, exciting. So Angel Gonzalez has joined us. Rory Taggart has oh, joined no. us. Kenny Green. Rory, Kenny. Liz Goldenberg. Oh my God, Liz Goldenberg. Uh, Laura Nelson Gibbs Gilson has joined us. Todd Dowell, Paul Unson, Marcella. Hi, Marcella. Marcella, Marcella is coming to the New Leaf on Sunday. I'll talk about that. I'm going there yeah. too. I'm going to just oh, stay out. Yes, I think I'm going to go home. No, you have to go home. Richard Williams changed. has joined us. So many people. Don't I can't keep up. John Pandish has joined Don't us. Okay, so now 
Um, Lavinia, I can't. Okay, so Judy is enjoying. Judy, aren't you enjoying her outfit? She hasn't been home since when? Did you see? This is my Oscar outfit with Chocolate Tina. I noticed <laughs> Joe Rocks had joined us. Joe Rocks, what do you think of uh, Lavinia's outfit? Who's Joe Rocks? Joe Rocks is a big cheese at Arms Radio. Big cheese? Yeah. Oh, cheese is delicious. I, cheese is delicious. I'm, I'm so I hungry. I can't cheese. even tell you. I would love to have some brie and grapes. Buzzing sound. Is anybody else hearing a buzzing sound? Oh, it's okay. me. It's you. Oh, That's shoot. her. No, no. I'm no, sorry. somebody said they oh, heard yeah, a buzzing sound. Wait, yeah. All right. There we go. Okay, so let's go back. We're all over the place, and it doesn't matter. It's that kind sorry. of a show. We're no, don't be sorry. Annette. So, uh, Annette. Okay, so is it still buzzing out there, you guys? Can you help? No, I don't think so. All right, good. Julie Cesari has joined us. Julie. Jack Fontenelle. Uh, if you should share. Share it. You should be able I to. I don't know how to share it. All right, I'll figure it out. So, Annette, talk about your recipes. Okay, so this year I did a Southern-style cuisine, mm. and we did, um, and some of them are stretch. So we'll go quickly through them. I got posters. Do it. For vice, we did shrimp ceviche. ceviche. The, oh, oh, for vice. Ceviche. Oh, that I one. love that. Ceviche. And what? I changed the posters. And that was a shrimp ceviche. It was very delicious. And I you can find all these shrimp. recipes on my site. Okay. So, what is your site if they want to find you? Kitchenette.com. Kitchen. Oh, spell it. Kitch Annette. K I T C H. A N N E T T E. Perfect. Josh yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. Skippy peanut butter. All right. So go ahead, Annette. Then we had pan. It's a tough I'm one. Hold black it. pan herb. See the black pan and the herb? It was herb oh. and cheese biscuit bites. Wow. I love biscuits. That, that sounds was delicious. So oh and it was God. made with the opal basil, which is purple, like the oh. heart shaped herb. Oh, I love uses. it. And, um, I used very spices detailed from East Africa, the Burberry spices, so that it has a flavor of where Wakanda allegedly is from. Oh my God! And oh that, that's super God. detailed. I was, I wouldn't even wait, know but wait, where Erica was what from. was in the ceviche? Did we talk about that? Oh, the ceviche was shrimp because I love ceviche. Pino and um, red onion and red pepper. Oh my God! I think that might I have been love it, ceviche. I that was it. It was good so easy and so drink. good. That, no, not a vodka drink. You no, well, not. if you put the vodka in it with the lime juice right. that covers See? it, it, it would could be, be good. It'd be a little fishy, but it'd be kind of good. Well, on this fishy vodka. <laughs> Lavinia, would you be? You, you can't I drink a ceviche. Okay. No, you have a little tequila to the side because of the that, lime. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you tequila, go. Tequila, that makes me. Well, you know, you could take a, a taste of ceviche and do a shot of tequila, Lavinia. Oh, and that's then a way to go. Oh my God! Look who's here. Ooh. Buzz, yes, there's still a buzz, you guys. Yes, and we are all buzzed. Oh no, uh, is there still a buzz? No. Do me a favor, Bill. Go in the other room and see if maybe sounds good now. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Buzzing stopped for now. Okay. Sometimes what I've noticed is I think I have to get a uh, better Wi-Fi because when everybody is on Wi-Fi here in the apartment, I think it does that. It overloads the the Wi-Fi, and then that's what happens. It buzzes. But I think we're okay right now. Okay, so uh, let is Billy is checking in the other room. Thank you, Bill. And we, Leo Rodriguez has come on. You know what that means? We have to say, Leo Rodriguez. Fantastic. He's Woo! our accidental intern. And uh, <laughs> Leo, thank you so much for all your help. So let's. Uh, Tracy McHugh has joined us. If I'm missing you guys, it's because so many of you are popping on tonight. Uh, Jackie Fornatel has joined us. Uh, Teresa Pepe has joined us. Hi, Teresa. John Bronston. Oh, How's that sound there, Bill? Okay. All right. Good. Justine Mary has joined us. Andrew Holmes. Hi, you guys. How are you? Justine Mary, my hero. Oh, my God. Okay, career. Hello, ladies. She hey. Said. Hello, Kay. All right. Annette, Annette, let's continue with your delicious oh, Oscar continue. menu. So the main this, course we're up to. Oh, my Ooh. God. So here, I'll hold this up and you tell oh. everybody what it is. A black Klansman. It was black Luxman, which was blackened chicken. Okay. And before I hear a word, it's because the KKK people are cowards, a.k.a. chickens. Okay, good. And that's how I came to that dish. That's how she came. So the KKK, they're cowards, chickens. Exactly. All right. And how was that dish? What did you put in it? Oh, it was so good. Um, there's oregano, there's paprika, there's onion powder, garlic powder, black, black pepper, salt, uh, 
other things yeah. put together. You take some melted butter, you dip the chicken in it, then you put it in the spices, put it in a pan. Ooh, Five minutes so each side, 30 minutes in the oven, you've got to Woo! Sounds delicious. Wow. That was a snap -a room. Oh, I love that. All right, what else you got here? Well, we're up to... Oh, my friend Robert. Robert Burke is in Black Klansman, my dear, dear friend, and Kenny Ooh, Garrido. Really? So shout out. Oh, and Susan Batson works with Spike Lee, and he got his first Oscar. So proud. Not oh, hate, wow. love. Listen. Um, best adapted screenplay. Woo! I mean, best adapted. Book. I'm very excited about talking about our movies. For, yes, I, yes. I mean, because I, I really am like out of the loop this year, and I'm embarrassed to say Don't how worry. out of the loop I am, we'll but I will up. catch up. I've been out of that loop my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Livinia. I feel better. I want to be here. I never loop. was in a loop. Well, you are a loop. <laughs> you are. She, I'm a loop. She's, <laughs> <laughs> I know you feel sad now. Oh, okay. You look so happy. You you I look know. so pretty. I think that's really the key. I'm old. Listen, no. we're all let's beautiful. Talk about food. We're all let's talk about food. <laughs> let's continue. Okay. For Annette, green book. For it's green, green book. bake. Green bake. It was it's hot. hot. Vigo? Oh my god. You guys oh like god. Vigo? He played oh. an Italian guy, right? Yes. He Hector played a Garcia. Bronx Italian guy. Oh my god, and you're I from the Bronx. Bronx oh yeah. what neighborhood? Oh, 233rd Street. Morris Park. Oh, I can't believe it. I was 233rd in Morris Park. I was born at Helen Bay General, which does no longer exist. Oh, my God. All right, Annette, tell us what you made here for the green bake. I made collard green and potato casserole. Okay. And it was collard greens with bacon and with some potato. Then you put a Parmesan cheese sauce Ooh, that over sounds the top delicious. and oh, bacon. Geez. Oh, my God. easy and Delicious. Wow. Annette, oh, this is amazing. Now, if we go to KitchenNet, we can get these recipes? Absolutely. Annette comes up with some amazing stuff. I mean, I don't, I, go, oh, oh, no. Did don't you see make Captain it dirty. Fantastic? Oh, my God. No. Full frontal. Full frontal. Delightful. D what? Yeah, what? Right. It was oh, a my God. Frontal. No, and, and yeah, he was oh. delightful. Okay, what do we have here? A star is born is the star is corn. Oh, my oh. God. I love <laughs> this. <laughs> Spicy bacon bourbon corn. So, and explain the, the bourbon the and bur the well, the bourbon is the homage to poor Jack and his addiction. Oh poor my Jack. God! But it was delicious. He was always. If you talk about Lavinia being wasted, he was wasted in the whole. No, movie. he's wasted. Now another fun fact: Susan Batson was their coach. The two of them, she was on set and she worked them, and that's why all the great artists have a great coach. And she loves Lady Gaga. She says she's amazing, loves Bradley Cooper. He's and so we, cute. They're he so cute. wonderful. So I can't say enough about Susan Batson. And the Oscar for this beautiful songwriter was uh, beautiful. Okay, now I want you let I want you to talk about if someone wants to get a Susan Babson is a great acting coach in the city. Great scene. acting Probably coach. Probably one of the best. She works with Nicole Kidman, Oprah Winfrey. I not I have gone to her, but it's very okay. Be a little bit expensive. For okay. but <laughs> my friend Susan Campanero, she teaches improv there. Oh right, sixty dollar oh. drop in on Tuesdays, and every last oh. Tuesday there's a free open improv class. It was today. I went. I showed up like this. She doesn't care. Okay. Well, well if, if someone wants to, so they just look up Susan Babson Susan Studio. Susan Batson Studio. How do you spell Batson? B A T S O N. Susan Batson Studio, 311 West 43rd Street. Okay, and she is an acting coach to the stars. Oh, yes. And, and she coached these two amazing performers. Okay, so talk about the stars, the corn again. It, yes, it uh, was spicy like their love. Oh, oh I like it. spice it. Another bacon moment. Bacon's always good. Bacon is bacon. always good. And then the bourbon corn. Bacon is the best. It really oh is. I God. love is there bacon. Any bourbon here? No, Sorry. I don't have anything oh. like it that. It all went into the corn. Oh. Yes. Okay, so this is wonderful, and that that looks delicious. I love it. All right, what else you got here? I love this movie too. For Roma. I saw Roma. I saw Roma tomatoes. Yes. Which are plum tomatoes. Yes. So absolutely. I made a plum tomato salad. It had jalapenos, my wow. homage back to the movie, because, of course, it's Mexican oh neighborhood. Oh, my God. Drama. I love everything ties in. And then a buttermilk dressing, which tied into my southern theme. Buttermilk. I love that. So that's how I, that was the salad for the Sounds dinner. Sounds phenomenal. It was good. Oh, my God. This Roma is, was beautiful. And then you should, did you ever think about opening a restaurant? No, that's too much work. 
I'd rather okay. do it and let people do it at home. I know you're she right. She likes that. Billy and I talk about this all the time. We talk about food every. Food is best. good. Oh, okay. And here it is. Can, can anybody find me somebody to? Wow. That's uh, really beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, Look at all the lights go up. For oh that. my God, they love that. Okay, let's uh, tell us about this, Annette. That was Bohemian Raspberry. And I made a raspberry trifle. We had four layers representing each of the band members. Is it, somebody says something to the effect in the movie about how the four band members on their own are stellar, but then when they're together, it's magic. Oh. So my four stellar ingredients, perfect on their own. Whipped cream, sponge cake, chocolate pudding, I and raspberries, raspberry jam with raspberries. Oh my God. Put them together, magic. And it was, it was gorgeous. Oh my God, this that sounds magic so good. This moment. <laughs> this magic. <laughs> what, what, no, girls, no, no, this no. is going to a level <laughs> I, I did know. not expect, <laughs> but delightful that. nonetheless. Okay. You remind me of a girl that I was in summer stock with. Oh, oh wow! She was That's a compliment. Oh, the favorite. The what? last one is the favorite, and it was the favorange. Oh, and the favorange. Was, yes. Go for it. Ooh. It was an orange queen's cake, which are little baby cakes that are like handheld cakes, smaller than a fairy cake. And it was because the queen was forever eating cakes. There's cakes all over that movie. Oh, really? And the famous scene where she's shoving the cake in her face. I was just telling them. And then she gets sick, turns, gets sick comes back and keeps eating the cake. So I was like, oh, ask the cake. I've done that. <laughs> you did that before. Listen, I enjoy a good meal, but I don't know if I could watch that scene. I, I mean, I don't it know. It goes fast. It you goes could fast. just close your eyes. I guess I'd have to. Yeah. It's all right. Like what happens? Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let me just go back. Isabella. Ra Somebody. Hi, uh, Maurice. So my cousin Maurice. Is here. Oh, my God. So many nice people. I'm just checking in. So if you're on the radio and you hear us mention all these people, Craig Colbert has joined Kenny's us. Kenny's in. Kenny Holcomb. Hi, Hi Kenny. I love you. Hey, Kenny, what did he say about your hairpiece is right, everything? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, now, <laughs> Penny James, are you still here? Penny, what do you think of our marriage? I would love, if Penny James is still here, and you want to call in, Penny? And just weigh in on what your favorite maybe dress was or look. I don't know if Penny's still here. She the might. Dresses we might, were a sometimes she checks in. Bit atrocious at times. <laughs> I agree on your point. Okay. It was like a big monster coming out of most of them. It could scare you in the middle of the night. <laughs> it was like this. All the Ooh, every who dress is this? was like every dress and pink and was big like and had pink. something over here like this. Like wow, ooh, like a big thing. But it was very. You know whose dress I thought was beautiful. It was also pink. J Lo. No, I didn't even actually notice. No, J Lo had a silver. J Lo she was like dress. mirrored things. I'm yeah. sure people looked but at it her was, and looked at themselves. Somebody said that she should have showed more skin. She didn't show much she skin. Looked great. Her she, second dress was gorgeous oh, she too. Had two it was dresses? blue and it was strapless. J Lo looked great. It was, I think nicer. I I, yeah. I think Jennifer uh, Hudson's dress was beautiful. Oh, she looked gorgeous in both of them. Very the long singing look train. and the. Yeah. I like. I think that middle looked adorable. I would love that in a mini. The flowers. Yes. Oh, that mini, mini was so we turned like up if the it was a bodysuit thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It was, Let me see that dance again. She had nice titties too. Oh, I can't. Oh, see. now it's explicit. Do you oh, know that no, every single time you've I been didn't on the show, it. Jimmy Bell has to give us an explicit no. rating. You already did oh, said I it. No, oh, but every time you're on. I know, I have to mess up everything. Jesus, Lavinia. <laughs> Holy yeah, crap. Sorry. Are you okay. mad at me? No, I'm not mad Don't at you mad right at now, me. but I probably I will be at some point. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so, oh, I can't believe it. I, She's mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad. Okay, it's just, I always, Jimmy has to put an explicit no, on the radio show. No, Jimmy. <laughs> Too late, Lavinia. Don't cry. Don't cry. All right. I, stop it. I'm talking to an F for a minute. Zip it. La Lavinia. Whatever you have to do. I don't speak French. Whatever you have to do to, to contain yourself. Okay, I you All right. Yeah, he can beep it out. Maybe. Mandar says he can beep it out. Mandar. Oh, the beep is really more fun. I barely 
Mandar, I, I was thinking about this today that you may have to, I may have to have Mandar on the show at some point because he truly is a chick magnet and uh, oh. people need to know Mandar at some point. Oh, that would be fun. To yeah, watch. no, I think so. I th And Mandar is yeah. an amazing dancer, by the way, like uh, just Ooh. wild. So maybe we can have you just dancing around, Mandar. I mean, I'm the Ooh. thought of it, I think, is very sad. She's sensitive. not mad at me anymore. I'm on to something else because I'm trying to distract myself. But if you keep pulling me into it, I'm going to remain. I'll disappear. Your glasses will disappear. Disappear. All right. So, Annette, how was the party? It was wonderful. It was one. Okay. And so, did everybody dress up and like. No, no, I don't have people dress up because I don't oh, really? have a large space. Okay. And more people that fit the space. So, you have. So, no big ball gowns? No. I did put everybody's picture on the actual Oscar background. So, I like my Photoshop. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's well, as as we got. that's all right though. But that's even better. I don't like to dress up. It's just, it's, no. a, it's too much work. But uh, Rena Cugnelli, who's my cousin, said that Tina Fey, Regina King, and Julia Roberts looked beautiful. Yes. Would you girls agree? Yes. Julia Roberts, definitely. Tina Fey, adorable. And who's the other I one? love Tina Fey. Regina oh, King, yes. Regina oh, King. Regina King. King. The the white no, and yes. she talks about her loving higher power and her wonderful mother and she Her came mom from was such cute. love and two two seven. No, she she and then she was in Jerry Maguire. They showed that amazing cut on some other show. Oh, she was like great she on was that. Young. She is great. Now, uh, Annette, I think this is your friend Barbara that? Falcone. We love Patricia. Barbara. I love her. She's my sister. But not really. I mean, like now she, she said that Maya Rudolph looked like she was wearing a bedspread. True. Beyond okay. So what do you girls a bit think? Of I Yes, so some it's not people a good dress for Maya. were guided in a direction that I've been in my whole life, but like <laughs> the, the wrong lost, direction. The lost. The lost. Now, direction. is it really true that you haven't been home since the Oscars? Because I was trying to get a hold of you. Well, I I was in jail overnight. What? Yeah. What did you do? Yeah, no, no I, I, always I flew to. I flew mysteriously. Well, you spit on me, up, I did. God, man. Let's get it together. All okay. right, go ahead. I miraculously ended up in Miami. <laughs> what? What do you mean you ended up in Miami? I don't know. I just felt like some sunshine. It was so cold and windy. So yesterday I was in a holding cell in Miami. And um, okay, there was this poster of me. A missing person. <laughs> okay. All right, so there's a missing person, but they have found you. All right, Lavinia, I heard a rumor that you're doing a show. It's called Missing Person. Would you tell people about it? Yes. It's with Lynn Portis, which you're doing a show with Lynn Portis at three, yes. uh, This Sunday. I'll this tell Sunday. people about that. Yeah. So but Lynn tell Portis about has written an amazing music to coincide the story about when I got arrested in Miami. So it was wow. such a horrendous night that we decided that it needed to be a story a with story music. A story with music. So it's going to be at the Susan Babson Studio on March 28th, April 4th, 11th, 18th, and 25th. Please come. It's a mere $20 to hear the amazing music sung by me, written by the amazing Lynn Porter. Okay, so this is Missing Persons, and the dates are... Flyer done by Kenny Oak. Flyer done by Kenny Hogan, March 28th, who we love, Kenny. April 4th, 11th, 17th, and 25th. Those are Thursdays, I believe, right? Thursdays, 8 o'clock. Okay, so missing person. That is something you need to check out. Okay, so I think Penny's not around anymore. Otherwise, we... Oh. So what were some of the other looks? Let's look and see. <laughs> Billy Porter. Okay, Mando, oh, okay. you said oh, Billy Porter, I Hector Extravaganza sequence. Adorable. What Loved you, it. And he's amazing on the red carpet. He really cares. So he was interviewing people, right? Yes, and he's like personable and he cares and he's listening. And he, he's not just like on to the next person. Like, who's who's next? Like, you know, the ADD everybody has. Like, he was very focused and gorgeous. Focused? He, I loved his outfit. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people were beautiful talking. beautiful black long skirty thing. Skirty thing. Okay, Myra. <laughs> hi, Myra. Myra's joining us. So if you folks want to chime in on who you thought the best dress was or who you thought the worst dress was. Right. So, Annette, who did you think the worst dress was? Maya was Maya. bad. But I, I wasn't a fan of a lot of, like, the over, like, there was that, um, was it Musgraves? Was, what's her first name? It was that pale pink, puffy, turtleneck. Oh, yeah, 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 I saw that. It was, that. like, tool gone awry. 
I don't know what happens to, you know, I guess people are trying to be different. And maybe. they had is that dresses what that were covering, they like had a cape fit in. Oh, the capes like, were weird. Yeah. It's, yeah, the capes were big this year. Not a fan. Like now, it was a dress with a little short capey thing. What did you think of Lady Gaga's look? I liked it. She looked good. Okay. I liked it because it was just like basic black. Her body looked nice. Then it was this beautiful, long, long black, trainy, simple. It was a lot of trains this year. Cool. Did you notice a lot yes. of trains, trains this year? Were in. Yes. Very now, much so. may I, I say something about the spray tans, though? I do not understand what happens at the Oscars with the spray tans. Well, because in LA, nobody's really outside, so they can't get any color. Okay. Nobody walks in LA. You could in New York in the summer. You can get a tan because you're gonna walk from here to there. No one walks in LA. They're not at the beach. The water's freezing. They are not getting tan, so they have to spray tan. It's not like Florida. But we why mean, do the spray tans look awful? Because it's I have fake. to say, Lady Gaga was a little too spray tan for me. I'm sorry. Yes, agreed. well, she I, had to I match know. Bradley Cooper, and, the, oh, and, the and hair he was spray right. tan too. Now I, I look that scene. I think their chemistry on, on on the Oscars was beautiful because their acting is beautiful. Yes. However, I will say she does cry a lot. I think she's just overwhelmed she, by this whole world. I don't know that she thought she would ever get into. You think so? Or well, she's, she's just that good of an actress. I, she's I, grateful, I think. She's crying because yeah. she's overwhelmed. Do you ever cry like that? I just it? cried two minutes ago. When yeah, you but that. Oh. <laughs> Uh, and then you don't, you don't, uh, do you feel overwhelmed and cry as times go on? Um, it depends on the moment. It depends on what. Usually more because I'm not happy. Oh, but okay. I'm, when I'm happy about something, it's like I'm not. You, you feel now. joyful. See, yes. I, I, I sometimes cry like if there's beautiful music. I'm very moved. Right. I like things like that. Wait, so I could do like the slight cry, not her overwhelming. Sometimes she cries. I cry over three men and a baby. <laughs> Is that because you didn't have a baby? No, because remember when they weren't going to get to keep the baby? <laughs> Mary. God. Lavinia, I don't even know where you go sometimes. But I did. I oh, uh, so Isabella, who's my cousin, Marisa said, Melissa McCarthy's bunny dress. Fantastic. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, you know what? That was classic. Yeah, but Melissa McCarthy looked gorgeous. Oh, she in a real outfit. In a yes. real outfit. She's so pretty. Whoever did her face hair. She looked great. She Excellent did. Outfit. She Pantsuit. looked beautiful. Pantsuits were on the red carpet. Pantsuits were on yeah. the red carpet. I said, what do you yeah. think of that? See, I, if I was on the red carpet, I think I'd, I'd wear a pantsuit. Oh, I'm you not would feeling... look good in it, but I don't think that the whip, I don't know. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't Traditional. Well, something. listen, I would like to um, segue into the food section of our show, if that's okay with you guys. I love uh, food. Um. Uh, who, well, who else has joined us? Karen Vergano. Hi, Karen. How are you? Maury. Maria Filiomeni, my love from Morristown. How are you, Maria Filiomeni? I think that Maria and I are related from way back when. We have to do our 23andMe or something because, or ancestry, because uh, her family and my family look alike. And Rory Taggart. What's he saying? He's saying Lavinia doesn't even know where she goes sometimes. You I know, know Rory. Rory. Don't <laughs> serve me. Rory's either. Canadian. Yeah, he's a You're nice up guy. In Canada, doing your thing, don't act like you know. Okay, know. Lavinia, just pull it together. All right. He's mad at me too. I'm not mad at you, and he's no. not mad at you. We're just trying to help you. We're trying to okay, guide you. In I life. need to eat because yes. I'm okay, eat. we're gonna eat soon. All right. So, so here's what we're having tonight. What did I make? I didn't go with any themes. Look, uh, Annette had done all the themes, and Annette was nice enough to say, "Do you want me to make some of the dishes?" that I made and bring them. And I thought, no, she's already worked all week and you're off tonight on that. So I will, <laughs> I don't want you to keep cooking because she does. This so is, what you made. Oh, all right, God. good. So sometimes I feel like Chinese food, but I, when I get Chinese food, most of the time I think I could, ah, I wish it tasted like this. Right. So I made my own. Hold on. You didn't say what the segment is. Oh, thank you. Annette. ready? Go ahead. Keep, keep eating. eating. Thank you, Billy. Uh, so Lavinia, we go, Go ahead. Keep eating. Okay, that was really good, actually. <laughs> I um, used to be on Broadway. Oh, okay. I was Betty Buckley's understudy. understudy. Yeah, I know. But I was fired. It's okay. All right, so what did I make? <laughs> I made a shrimp uh, in chili, a chili sauce with Thai, spicy Thai oil, so ch a sweet, sweet chili, and also um, mango, mango Ooh, chutney. Oh, that would taste good with mm. vodka. It's, <laughs> 
Not there's Wrong. no vodka in here. Okay, there's no vodka in here. And what I did for the vegetables, I stir fried vegetables in scallion, garlic. So I have red peppers, carrots, peas, sugar snap peas, and bamboo shoots. Mm. Delicious. And that is all, also there's ginger in here as well. So the shrimp were marinated in ginger, garlic, um, mango. Uh, what else? Chili, lime, delicious. Delicious I'm over sorry. brown delicious. rice. It's going to be so good. Okay, so that's yeah, that. That sounds healthy. Yes, and I went but for delicious. but delicious. Healthy but delicious. So our salad tonight is red leaf lettuce with some red cabbage, English cucumber, um, avocado, mm. red pepper. I just put some lime on there to keep it um, from, you know, the avocado turns. So I think what I'm going to do with this is a basic white balsamic and an extra virgin olive oil and there's also cilantro in there so I'll, and put some more lime in there oh my god dominic popa dominic oh dominic, dominic. It all comes together it all comes together hi dominic hi don maria oh maria. my god oh, we dominic. miss you you know who's here dominic uh annette zito who was on the show with you the uh last time episode 72 Hello, baby. And wait for it, wait for it, Lavinia Draper. It's me. Who was also on the show with you, episode 16. So the common denominator is Dominic Poopa. Dominic, Dominic. you're the denominator. <laughs> How long until Lavinia uh, sobers up and realizes what? that no one's in your house and just What? Dominic, she has literally been out since Sunday, she said. She said that she was... She fell asleep at Marie's crisis. I host a party at Stonewall Inn for the Oscars and the Tonys eight years in a row. And I haven't been home yet because I've been having so much fun. And she forgot that she, first she thought she left her cat, then she realized her cat died last she month. Did. It's really bad. Aww. I know. It's really bad. I love it. All right, listen, Dominic, so you, you were busy all day, and thank you for calling in. I so appreciate it. Now, honey. Oh, it's my pleasure. You know I wanted to be there. I know. If and you, time, I would have caught. Well, it's the, I know, honey. It's the Oscars recap show, and you, when I think of Oscars, uh, you are the three people I think of. And I'm so well, sorry. Just, Go as ahead. As I just woke up, I passed out Sunday night when Glenn Close lost, and I woke up 15 minutes ago. Well, I saw that you fainted. I saw that on, um. Um, I saw that on a video that you were waiting for Glenn Close to win and you were watching and then you fainted when she lost. Dominic, don't you think... Don't you You're think... Lavinia, what? stop talking. Oh. Okay, go ahead, Dominic. No, I passed out of the Ainsworth on uh, 3rd Avenue and 11th Street and they put me in a, a knee bunker and I just, I happened to wake up five minutes ago. Oh, that's okay, happening. That's <laughs> Lavinia said that's happened to her. Oh my... That's where she... That's where Lavinia was conceived. That's oh. what the problem is. <laughs> it, it could happen. It could happen. Now, listen, what do you think what happened with the Glenn Close thing? What do you think? I don't know. First of all, I would like to say on the record that Olivia Coleman was fantastic. And The Favorite is a fantastic movie. I couldn't love Olivia Coleman more. I just thought that it wasn't a lead role. I thought it was a supporting role. I think because she was in the wrong category... She knocked out Glenn Close. What is Glenn Close now supposed to do to win an Academy Award? She's going to get a lifetime. Uh, so Lavinia just said she's going to get a lifetime achievement. She will get a lifetime achievement award. Not enough. Not right. That's not enough. Now, I have a theory, though. You do? Go ahead. Danette when has a theory. you dress like a statue, you don't get a statue. Is that true? I think so. When you dress like a statue, Why you don't get a statue. Why was she dressed I like a statue? She was in all gold like a Why? statue. Like the Oscar. I don't know. Listen, no. Listen, when Meryl Streep won for the Iron Lady, she was wearing a gold sequin dress. Oh, oh wow. All right, so I my thought theory's Glenn out. Close's dress was pink. No, it wasn't See, you, you all... The three of you obviously needed an actual gay man to call. Well, to that's show. why we were needed. I, 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 that's why I'm so glad you okay. called because we did need you to call in. You I, go ahead, Lavinia. No, no, no. I, I could be wrong. I was, I was quite busy doing what I had to do okay. at Stonewall. I was noticed Glenn Close, but I do know that 
Glenn Close should have won the Oscar. Yes, yes, we all agree on that. That was excellent. Yes. We all agree. Now, did you see Barbara Streisand? <laughs> I did. We all love Barbara Streisand. We were so glad she was there. But, but the look, not so much. Well, Judy, don't say that in front of Judy Mason. Judy, I love you, but the hat, no. I, well, the hats right. are big this year. Now, uh, so D uh, Dominic, uh, who did you think was uh, a, the worst dressed? The worst dressed? Or uh, one of the ones that, that you were like, what were on earth were they thinking? Can I be honest with you? Yes, please. Yeah, no, nothing is daunting. Like, I, I didn't look at anyone and think to myself, oh my God, they look horrible. Okay, well, that's good then, because sometimes people do, people are saying Maya. Uh, Maya Rudolph was... Oh, Maya Rudolph. Yeah, you know, she was... But Maya Rudolph never dresses like... She, she, she never dresses well. I didn't like what Amy Poehler wore either. She what about her like, bad Botox? Oh, yeah. Lavinia said that Amy Poehler, who we do love, but she had some bad Botox and her one of the eyebrows Why was stuck. Why was her eyebrow like a V? She had to talk to her doctor to get that down. Did you notice that? I didn't notice. I didn't notice that, You no. did notice? I think maybe... I didn't... I noticed recent, not not as much on Sunday, but I noticed prior that I thought that she had work done. But on this past Sunday, I just um, I assumed that Charlie Sheen had just punched her in the eye backstage. That <laughs> well, that I mean, could have happened. It could have happened. A lot of things. She could've needs happened. Rodan and Fields. Yes, and yes. I'm going to talk about that. You know, I do sell skincare. I, I, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm going to talk about that. There's no need for Botox at any point in time, kids. Just relax. There are alternatives. Can I ask Lavinia. Dominic a question? Yes, Lavinia wants to ask you. Go ahead. I love Rachel Weiss. She's with, she's gorgeous. But you liked that right? dress with the weird cape in the front? You know, that's a good point. It looked, it looked like she was dressed in a fruit roll-up. <laughs> yes! A fruit roll-up. I love that. But she was next to Daniel Craig, who she's lucky enough to get to sleep with. But what I'm saying is that dress, she's so pretty. Why? On earth. It should I'm be just thinking the whole night. Every time, because, you know, I, I think that she does pronounce her last name Vice. So every time the actual movie Vice was nominated for something, I thought she would just get pissed off and say, Oh, my name. It's true. It's, it's true. Might have happened. Say my name. Say my name. Oh, Lavinia is singing now. That was pretty. Yeah. So, Dominic, um, thank you so much for calling in. We're so sorry about Glenn Close. Cause Can you, I, you say what other upsets you felt? Yeah, did you? Uh, you feel, was there any other disservices to the gold statue? Yeah, that's a good oh, question. Oh, just... Well, I'll be honest with you. My favorite movie from last year was Can You Ever Forgive Me with Melissa McCarthy. Oh, great movie. I, I loved it. It felt Shot like Shot at Julius's movie. Hello. I ate burgers there yes. after and, the Oscars. And you can you can tell that the whole movie was shot in New York. You know, as as a New Yorker, I get very snobbish about movies in New York. And I feel like I can tell when they weren't shot here. Yeah. That was shot here. It's a great story, a true story. And her and Richard E. Grant, I, I, I think in, I, I'm surprised that it didn't get more attention because it was that good of a, uh, good of a movie. So I would have wanted that to have been nominated for Best Picture. Green Book was amazing. Didn't think it was the Best Picture of the year. Okay, a lot. There's a lot of controversy around that movie. That people are saying yeah. that they didn't. They felt the same thing. Did you think Black Klansman should have won instead? No, no. I think Black Klansman was a good movie. I didn't actually think it was a great movie, though. Okay, it certainly wasn't. It certainly wasn't Spike Lee's best movie for sure. I think I almost think that got too much praise. Black Klansman. Okay, what was your favorite movie this year? Was you said the one with Melissa McCarthy? No, yeah, can you ever forgive me? And I love the favorite also. I thought the favorite uh, was was really good. I would have loved if Black Panther had won. I have to be honest. I yeah. love Black Panther. Yeah, yeah, that was an amazing movie. Maybe they were afraid to make an action picture, but they did do Training Day. Didn't that? Did Training Day didn't win a Best Picture? He, no, he won Best ben Actor. No yeah. So action yeah. films tend to action not win. Action films don't tend to win, Mr. Pooper. Don't really. Right. Can I ask you another question? Lavinia has another question. I will answer anything that she asks me. 
Don't ask him oh anything, God, Jerry. Don't I ask anything, Jerry. She forgot what she was going to ask. Wait. I'm going to remember. All right. Hold on. Oh, my God. Who do you think the best-looking man at the Oscars was, Ooh. Dom? Ooh. Ooh, that's a tough one. So I many mean, good looking. I love Bradley Cooper. I love Jason Momoa. I wanted him and Helen Mirren to have sex oh, on television. He's oh, gorgeous. I saw him in person really once. Gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Annette saw him in person once. Where did you see him, Annette? I saw him at the San Diego airport with his beautiful wife and his children. Ooh. Wow. Oh. And right after Comic-Con a couple of years ago, it was just like zing. He's gigantic, right? It's beautiful. So you yeah. wanted him and, and uh, Helen Mirren to have sex, you said? I would have loved to have watched that. Oh. Also, when J-Lo came out in her, uh, what was that? Like she looked great. Elongated She's like an elongated Puerto Rican disco ball she was wearing, and I wanted her. I to, loved it. I wanted her to fall on top of Captain America when she was presenting with him. Oh, he looked good. He Chris looked Klein. good. There were some good-looking like people. See, I wanted to see Chris Evans' um, oh, Chris Evans. genitals reflected in the nine million mirror tiles. He's a general. Okay, all right. Let me oh. stop you there for a minute, Dominic, because I, I said now we have an expl. Well, earlier no, I. I didn't. I yelled at Lavinia earlier because she said I something. I don't say it. I don't even know what I said. Okay, you don't remember, down. but now because we it say if we say explicit things, Jimmy, our producer, uh, has to give us an explicit rating on the podcast. And now you have gone to and that step further and said genitals, and so we're definitely I'm, getting explicit. It must be my fault. Somehow. It's not just Lavinia. I feel really good that I haven't said anything bad yet. Dominic, why didn't Beautiful Boy get any kind of any kind of? And you know what? I just, I don't know. Yeah, and I haven't seen so it, but I love Timothy Chalamet. Did you see it? Look it's enough? so beautiful. Is it's it? amazing. It really should have been I a don't understand. best picture. Oh, boy. I thought for sure it was going to be in the category. Or best adapt. Did you see Warm Up? It took me three days to get through it. Did you see it? I did see it. What do you um, think? I thought it was great. No, I thought yeah. it was great. Well, I wish I'd seen it in a movie theater. I yes. saw it on television. Yeah, yes. Netflix makes it like you fall asleep because you're on your couch drinking, you know. Well, <laughs> Lavinia <laughs> fell asleep because she was drinking but on I her couch. It. But she the finished. end is amazing. All right. So we'll get it. It sounds like she's about two minutes away from doing that on your show. Oh, no, so. she's already showed up drunk. No, That's really? why we're going to eat soon, Dominic. Um, so listen. I'm sorry that you couldn't make it, but thank you so much for calling in. We really needed your yeah, your, your gay male um, uh, perspective. And, and Annette, the food looks so good. I went to Annette's social media. The food looks amazing. Amazing, right? Yes. We uh -huh. have to cook together, baby doll. I yeah. love that. We're gonna do. We're gonna have. I'm gonna have a little party at the house. Were you happy with best actor? Who? Um, I was. I thought he did a good job. I Who's the best Rhapsody actor? Was For Freddie Mercury. Oh, right. Yeah. He's adorable. Did you see him making out with his girl? He's making out with his girl. He was, he didn't want to, I mean, he's I know hot the four of us have, have been to our, with the four of us have been to our share of gay bars in my time. It seemed a little, uh, it seemed a little, uh, what's the word, demonstrative to me. Like he was trying to prove a point. It's like, okay. we know you're not Freddie Mercury, Robbie. You don't have to assault your girlfriend on live television <laughs> like that with your tongue. Come All right. On. Okay. So, that you know, uh, that's a, it's a good point. It's a good point, Tom. Dominic, your perspective is well taken. As always. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dominic, I we love, love you. you. And we oh, just, happy birthday. Oh, guys. happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dominic Gupa. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Mama, happy Kelly Moore, birthday. too. Kelly Moore, your buddy, too. I love all of you. Buddy. All right. We love, love you, too, love honey. You. Talk Bye. soon. Bye. 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 That was fun. I'm so glad Dominic called in. He's the best. And the he best. is. Like you. Him. Now, listen, we didn't talk about dessert yet. And this oh is very good God. for the favorite. Oh, oh, wow. oh, wow. But you know what? I didn't even pick it for the favorite. You know why I picked it? Because. No, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Well, I'll tell you what, what my <laughs> thought was. But now you're right. It makes even more sense. I got a carrot cake because there were a lot of diamonds at the 
at the Oscars, Shut and there were lots like of diamond. carrots. Oh, See, oh, diamond carrots. Oh, so it's it's a play on it smells, food. but I could totally like eat this. I can't oh, wait. I love carrot cake. carrot cake. Carrot cake is so good. I can't wait to eat this. That's my last okay. indulgence before I'm into spring training. Oh, really? Well, it's time. All right, so I want to let you guys know we're almost we're running out of time tonight, but I want to let you guys know uh, that Lynn Portis and I, uh, my musical director of 25 years and great friend, are going to be at the New Leaf Cafe, which is a New Leaf restaurant. It's up in the Cloisters, so uh, there's a beautiful little restaurant there. There's a house. It's called the New Leaf Restaurant, and we're going to be there this Sunday, March 3rd, from 3 to 5. We're playing music. There's no cover charge. You just come and order a meal, drink, and enjoy the music. If you make reservations, which I do strongly suggest you do, uh, and the number for that is 212-563-5323 for the um, Red Leaf Restaurant. Make reservations and tell them that you want to be in the room where the music is because they have two rooms. And um, so I just want to talk about that for a second. So maybe we'll see you then. But... We are uh, going to eat tonight. We're very excited about that. Lavinia, I want to recap and tell everybody that missing person. One month. One month of shows. Yeah. So March 28th, they're all Thursdays. April 4th, 11th, 17th, and 25th. Lavinia is going to be With there. Lynn Portis, who's going to be with Maria at New Leaf. And we will be there, too, celebrating songs of Maria yes. and Lynn. So many people are going to be up there. So we're going to have a really uh, good time. Now, so if people uh, miss the audience tonight, and we, we just want to remind you that um, I will save this video, as I do with all my videos, and you're welcome to go back and watch it as many times as you and want. We did talk about we want to do a shout-out to Carol Channing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Talk um, about this, Lavinia. The, she was left out, and also Sandra, who was Sandra Locke, Sandra Locke was left out of the in in Mora because we, I how do you say the word in memoriam. in memoriam memoriam because I she feel it was Miranda. I feel it was a millennial thing that they don't think Carol Channing and and Sandra Locke and Kate who Kate Ballard. Kay Ballard oh are relevant. So but let me tell you, everybody's relevant. You have to know your history. You need to watch the Three Stooges and Laurel and Hardy. Abbott and Costello. Abbott and Costello. And you need to know who the little rascals were. And you need to know who Spanky was. What are you, you talking need to about? Know wait, who these wait. older artists okay. are that paved the way that, for yes, yes. Yes. where you are twice. today. Okay. Carol Channing so, was a paver blaze for women. So I, Lavinia is saying something paver that blaze. she thinks that a millennial put that. Yeah, I think memorial. a 23 year old had no idea who these people were and didn't think anyone else gave a hoo ha. I didn't curse about it, but I give a hoo ha. So if you're going to scroll down your Wikipedia or find out who was in the movies and who died, really do your research, people. I agree with you, Lavinia. Agree. I'm going to say, good for that you, Lavinia. Yeah, because that was really sad that Carol Chang was not. I mean, they got Penny Marshall. Thank God. Hey, thank God. Right? All right. Um, so uh, Tom Greenleaf has joined us. Darius Frowner has joined I us. Hi, Darius. Bill Young has joined us. Um, I missed a lot of people that scrolled by. People are saying so many great things about... I can't wait to read them. Yeah, I know. So what what we'll do, John Satram's joining. Hi, John. Margaret Curry, Anthony Burley. Hi, Anthony Burley. Oh, Another one that I think man. I'm related to. Mr. Richard Lover. Skipper. We would, uh, Richard Le Skipper. Le Lavinia was just talking about I love Carol. Richard. And um, yeah, Tom Carlia has joined us too. Hi, Tom Carlia. Tom Papa. So um, next week, speaking of John Satram, John Satram is going to be on and he's bringing – Three more other gorgeous boys that are in, uh, wow. they're doing a show called Mama's Boys. Ooh, and it's wow. uh, four of them from Mama's. They're doing a show uh, coming up. So they're going to be on the show next week. It's me and four hunky boys. I'm tuning in. They can sing. So you have to tune, tune in. in. So come back next week. And uh, we just want to remind you that we save this video. You can watch it. I'll also post it on What's the Story with Maria's page. And very importantly, uh, we want to thank Armed Radio, armeddigitalmedia.com, Armed Radio Global. Jimmy Bell is our producer and engineer. 
Joe Rocks is uh, the big cheese there at Arms Radio. Joe Rocks. This goes into podcast at uh, Spotify, Spreaker, and uh, iHeartRadio. So if you type in What's the Story with Maria, this is episode 85, and oh, they're all like archived. 80. So that yes, that was a good year. That My was a good... gonna be 85 this year. So uh -huh. she is gonna be, and she looks terrific. Today she said it was raining in Florida. It's raining. I know Florida. it's it's, and all... it's colder than you know what here. Yes, well, oh. we already have an explicit, so you might as well go. For I'm it. not cursing. All right, it's I mean you can't. Don't be mad at me. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not Are mad you at gonna you. Let me eat? Not mad. I am Are you gonna, gonna let me. Eat? She's. Billy said I always sound mad. It's well, I am. I'm always mad at Billy too. I'm always yelling at poor Billy. Aww. Am I right? Poor Billy. I'm always. Somebody yelling. needs to be mad at him. Matt, Bill. Yeah. yeah. Not me. Uh, we go. Oh, we got to go. Sorry, oh, Jimmy. Bye. Okay, good night, everybody. We love and appreciate bye. you. Thanks, Jim Bell. Happy Oscar recap.